Okay, we're here with Coach Tina Langley at first year at Rice University. I gotta ask this right off the right off the bat. Okay. Why Rice? Oh. Why go from an elite program to Rice? It's not really known as an elite program, but yeah. Um, I think Rice is an elite um, institution. And so I think athletics, you know, have uh, really taken a, a huge jump forward. Um, there's a lot of uh, programs here that are already competing, uh, not only for conference championships, but also at a national level. And I believe women's basketball can be uh, one of those programs as well. Have you set a timetable in your mind of when you hope to get to? What goals have you set, long, short term and long term? Um, you know, I have a very simple goal. And um, yeah, I believe that simple goal leads, leads to greatness, and that is uh, growth in everything that you do. Um, you know, if you get a little bit better, that 1% rule, you know, a little bit better each day uh, at everything that you're doing, you'll, you're going to be able to reach your goals uh, in the long run. Who influenced, or who has influenced you in your, your coaching tenure? Oh my gosh, I, uh, how long is the video? <laughs> no, I've had so many wonderful influences, um, you know, from when I was a player uh, to, to great coaches in different sports that got me interested in coaching. Um, to, uh, you know, college influences began quickly, Mark Elon at Toledo and Jim Davis at Clemson, Andy Landers at Georgia, and obviously Brenda Freeze was a huge influence the last seven years. You, you touched on it. Um, did, you, did you play basketball? I did play basketball. I started playing in high school Okay. Um, and uh, played at uh, West Alabama uh, after playing in junior college. This is a broad question, but how has basketball, women's basketball changed from when you were a player to now? Um, you know, a, a million ways because, you know, the game itself has changed mostly. I, I, I think the thing that comes to my mind first is the physicality of the game, but also women in general. I think we've become a little bit stronger too if you look through the years. The training has changed, um, you know, so just the way the game is played has changed dramatically. Um, style of play has changed too. I think the women's game. Um, you know, coaches do a great job of studying the best of the best, and the best of the best are pros. So the NBA coaches, WNBA coaches, uh, have influenced a college game a good bit, and so it just continues to evolve. Where would you rate the fundamental level of fundamentals in college now compared to, let's say, ten years ago? Um, you know, I've had great coaches that I've worked for, so you know, the fundamentals were definitely taught in the programs that I've been a part of. So I wouldn't say those have changed dramatically because I think it does, you know, the teacher matters uh, as well. Um, the student athletes that we've recruited in, in those institutions have been very skilled. So I'd, I'd say they're, you know, kind of the same in a sense. This season begins four quarters as well as a few other rules changes. What are your thoughts on some of those rules changes? Uh, it's exciting. Um, you know, anytime they make changes to the game, I think they're trying to make them to better the game. And I think they intended to make it a more exciting game with the quarters and, uh, you know, obviously more um, out-of-bounds opportunities and, uh, you know, last-second, uh, you know, excitement. And, um, you know, I think that's good for the game. Um, you know, uh, I don't really have anything negative to say. It's all pretty exciting for me. Have you had a chance, I guess, in practices to go over situations regarding the timeouts? Because I know that's going to be different for coaches this year as well. We just started working on that. We had an inter-squad scrimmage uh, last weekend. And um, we just kind of introduced that a little bit. We've, we've done a little bit in practice, not a ton. Um, obviously, worked a little bit more on sideline situations than we had in the past. Um, but, uh, you know, I think through these scrimmages that we're about to, to have, uh, we're probably focusing on that a little bit more situational um, things. Tell me about the team. Give me the, I, I glance at the roster, and it's, it's a young squad, a lot of uh, freshmen and sophomores. So what are your thoughts on the, on the uh, team this year? I'm excited by the team. I'm excited about who they are as people, um, how hard they've been working, you know, since the day we got here. Um, they've been really bought in and, and just uh, focused on trying to get better every day. They've really, um, you know, taken hold of the core values and especially our growth mentality. And, um, you know, that's been it's really encouraging to see. And you could go down the roster and player for player, you could say something that they're improving on, whether it be, you know, uh, the condition that they're in, physical strength, skill sets. You know, they're definitely each improving on a daily basis. Did you know much about the players when you were applying for the position? No. Was that an, was it easier to adjust when you got here, just the fact that you were starting with a clean slate with them? Yeah, I think so. I mean, 
Um, I think every season is a clean slate for coaches. You know, you, you really start the season and you don't know who's worked on what in the summer and, you know, what you're getting some of the time. Obviously, the new rules allows us to see a little bit more in the summer than previous years. But you do expect that some student athletes are going to make, you know, huge growths in the summer and then some might be, you know, similar. So you don't want to predetermine anything for the next season a lot of times. So uh, I feel like kind of the same mentality going into this team is, well, obviously I didn't know much about them at all other than the film that I watched after I accepted the position. Um, but, you know, given that, I mean, I would say they still learned a lot about them, just their work ethic and, and um, you know, how they spent their summer. For fans who don't know, describe your coaching philosophy, coaching style. Coaching style? Probably teaching. I think when you come to practices, uh, just love that relationship with players. You know, one-on-one -on -one especially, you know, being able to, to hopefully motivate and inspire them to reach their potential and maybe a little bit even more than they had hoped to, to reach. Um, letting them see themselves and uh, the abilities that they have um, and challenging them to, uh, to reach those, uh, those abilities. Why should fans come to see Rice Women's Basketball this season? I think fans should come because, uh, first of all, these young women are working really, really hard and they're wonderful people, um, you know, really get to know them uh, and get to know the program and I think you wouldn't want to miss it because, you, you know, that they're working hard every day to represent Rice University in, in the best possible way and, and um, I think that it'd be exciting to see them play. I think it would be a fun style, uh, style of play to see as well and I think you'll see throughout the season again with this growth mentality that each time you come to see us I think we'll be a little bit better. And talking about the growth, do you have any concerns that the very difficult non-conference schedule will kind of slow that growth, if not, you know, physically, mentally, maybe frustrate the players a little bit? Because you're playing some tough, tough teams non-conference. We definitely have a challenging non-conference schedule. Um, I do believe that uh, whatever is, is put in front of you, you have to give your absolute best effort at. And when you do that, you're going to be able to come away with some uh, way of measuring where you are currently versus the best of the best. We're playing the best of the best early in our season and it's going to be a way for us to learn about ourselves and to again continue to grow in the areas that obviously we see that we need to grow at more quickly. What are your thoughts on Conference USA as a league? I'm sorry. What are your thoughts on Conference USA oh, as a league? Conference USA. Exciting conference. I mean this is this conference that has you know teams that have been in the Final Four and, and have championships and uh, it's, a, it's a really competitive conference. Every time you take the floor, you're playing a team that uh, you know, you're going to be very challenged by. Um, it's very even. Great coaches in the league. I mean, every single coach, every single program, so much respect for. I've um, got an opportunity to, to actually sit down and talk with everybody at the meetings this year, spring meetings, and um, just really, really respect the coaches of the league and, and where the teams are currently on a national, uh, in a national setting. Has the transition been difficult for you moving to Houston? I love Houston. <laughs> I, I probably said that to you a few times since you came in, but it's been an awesome transition. You know, you, you sometimes you just end up somewhere and you know that's where you belong. And uh, Houston has been, it feels home to me. Um, I get excited uh, that I get to live here every day. And uh, I tease some of the people up in Maryland about the weather every now and then. <laughs> How has recruiting gone for you? Recruiting's been awesome. Uh, there's so much talent in the state of Texas, um, so you know you don't have to go very far to see great, great players, great high school coaches, great AAU programs, just you know national contenders uh, in both areas. So it's been fantastic to get to know the people of Texas. Uh, Bryce is a national university, obviously 18th in the country, um, and so we are well known throughout the country, and that allows us to to go outside of Texas a little bit as well and and draw some of the nation's best players. So it's been really um, just fun to get to know people that are interested in Rice and for us to tell them a little bit about where we see the future of Rice basketball. Well, where, do you, where do you see the future of Rice women's basketball? We want to be very competitive on a national level. Um, conference USA is a conference that I believe that can go in and compete with um, you know, the high BCS schools and nationally uh, rated programs. And uh, you know, we hope to, to get to that level as well. When is the uh, first home game for Rice? Uh, we play against Texas, I believe it's November 21st. Invite fans to that game. We would love to have you guys come out for our first home game of the year against uh, the Texas Longhorns on November 21st. Thank you, Coach.